Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we partook in the Pokelothon. Apparently just a big Pokemon sports event thing. A lot of fun on the actual DS, but on the emulator, it's a living nightmare because God forbid they make it this is, uh, easy to do with the whole mouse and keyboard thing. But anyway, I think this is the first time we're going to encounter a blue Apricorn. It's, I, I can actually pronounce it like that. So in this episode, we're going to be continuing on uh, on our little journey here and there. Uh, hopefully, we'll be getting to the next town, or city, I believe it is. Um, and then maybe we'll be able to get some further things done, because I'm not too sure how far we're really going to make it. Um, I'm obviously going to be keeping this battle in, because, you know, it's been a while, and... Yeah. Flash, really? You just put that on your Abra? I also want to get some more experience on because uh, the next gym fight is quite difficult. Uh, just from really looking at the stats of them. Another Abra, that could be no problem to us. Is it going to use Flash again? Of course it is. You know, why would you bother putting uh, an actual damaging move on your Pokemon? <laughs> Even though Flash isn't really doing anything because we're just hitting these anyway. So that's good. All right, it goes up to 19, getting ever so closer to from the disc. Oh, Dabber, that's different. I am going to switch out then. Um, to who exactly? Uh, you know, what? let's go, Flare. <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Wayne's pretty close to evolving, and we're probably gonna be needing that uh, for the upcoming fight. Um, let's go for Dig. No. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what Kinesis does, and I don't really care what it does. So hopefully it doesn't do anything super important. Okay, why would I have... Okay, whatever. Should probably take it out. And just barely. Oh, see, there's confusion. That's nice. Ow. Uh, quick attack. Should do him in. <coughs> there we go. Being a dapper, it might give us a good chunk of experience. There we go. Level 19, and we don't do anything moo. Wow, I butchered that sentence completely. Good lord. Um, So down here is Route 35. That's the route we were just in, and we could use cut to take... I don't know why you want to do that. Take Just take a shortcut through... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Take a shortcut through the, the National Park. I don't see why you would get a reason to do that. Uh, let's try Yamoja. Maybe this guy doesn't have anything, thankfully, against... Yamoja, maybe, hopefully, maybe not. And it's a tangle, of course. No way, we got Ice Beam, this can work out. Alright, let's... Hopefully it works out. Ew, there's Absorb. I think Tangle is not that powerful anyway. So, thankfully, my encoder has been uh, crapping the bed recently. Um, it's actually been doing pretty good. I haven't really had any issue of any kind really recording. Uh, it's the uploading part that's the tricky part, because... Um, Simply because YouTube is not really um, accepting the highest quality uh, video file I can put onto there. It's uh, been really tricky, and that's why the quality has kind of been differing every now and then between different videos and whatnot. For God's sake. Okay, thank God. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to be mostly uploading in MP formats, MP4 formats from here on out because it's just a lot more convenient. Mostly because, you know, it's a very simple... Uh, video file, and there's really nothing that's going to be uh, causing any damage to it. It's going to be a little lower quality than usual, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I mean, as long as the video is playing properly, it shouldn't be that big a problem anyway. I'm the Flower Shop's Floria. What a unique and interesting name. Listen, listen, when I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. You, if you soaked it, a squirt bottle, soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. All right, so... Use an odd tree, use the squirt bottle. Sure thing. Odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The odd tree attacked. This odd tree is not just an odd tree, it is a fake tree being pseudo wudo. I'm actually going to go over pseudo wudo in the video, surprisingly. Pseudo wudo is. It's an interesting Pokemon to say the least. It's really not the most. I mean, it's got an insane amount of attack and just. Oh man. I mean, it's alright. Pretty good in attack and defense. Especially though, it's not the greatest, being very 
not good in that department, to say the least. Um, it's got some interesting moves starting out. If you want a, just a nice, basic water type or a rock type Pokemon, it's, you know, all right to use. Again, it's not the best Pokemon, but it's certainly a Pokemon that you can take if you just want to have a rock type on your team. So yeah, definitely go for it if you wanted. I am going to probably die in this fight. I'm going to send out a zap, actually, because Yamoja is surprisingly not doing a lot of damage with Water Gun. And you're going to be right, because he used Mimic. Uh, Suda would also got a pre-evolution uh, Bonsly in Generation 4. However, I'm not going to be going over Bonsly because it is not obtainable in this game. And I don't think it's really obtainable at all. Nah, that's a disappointment. I'm out, I'm, out, I'm out of experience reading from that. Oh well. Yes, I didn't catch it because I didn't want to catch it. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. And we got the berry pots, which are really useful. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right, I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. We got ourselves some orange berries. I think some pecha berries, yep. You have to plant berries in the soil, you should want... Water from time to time, then they'll go strong. I have to go back to Goldenrod. Are you heading for Ecritique? You should go north here. See you around. So yes, with the berry pots, we actually have a way of actually manufacturing uh, berries on our own terms. So, if we go into our key items with the berry pots, use them. Uh, we're able to fertilize if we have any fertilizer or plant a berry, which we are going to be doing. We only have two, four orange berries and four pecha berries. So it's really not going to be super helpful in any way whatsoever. Um, if we had a certain other type of berry, that'd be really helpful with the upcoming gym battle, but unfortunately we don't have that. Again, orange berries aren't really all that useful, and we'll just plant another one just for the hell of it. And once they're planted, uh, you can just simply water them. It'll get them going a bit faster. Um, again, with anything with berry-related, it takes time for the berries to grow. So once they're watered and looking good, and you've maybe fertilized them to maybe expedite the process a bit better... Um, you can just go ahead, wait for them to be harvested, and then you'll grab some nice more berries. It's a really handy way to get more berries out of the very limited amount of berries you can get in this game. Because aside from just finding it randomly on the ground and from some random NPCs, there's no real way to get berries in this game. It would have been nice if um, the... Tree, the apricorn trees held berries like they did in the original games because apricorns weren't really a thing in gold, silver, and crystal, or at least I think don't think they were. Or at least the trees didn't bear apricorns and they only bared berries, which is probably way better than apricorns could ever be. But they also didn't have berry pots back then. But then again, the berries also respawned every other day, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, this guy right here, actually, now we're back in Violet City. Shard the berry, shard the berry, yeah, yeah, I trade berry for a shard. If you bring me some shards, I will give you three berries, yeah. Uh, can I actually give you anything? I don't have a shard. Damn it. Alright, this guy trades off some, uh, shards for berries. It's, a probably a handier way to get some berries every now and then. So, if you got some, like, uh, if you have the red, green, yellow, or blue shards, he'll give you berries depending on which shard you get. I don't know if you can choose which berry you can, uh, get, but, again, it's a pretty helpful little thing. Anyway, onwards with the Route 36... Uh, what is this? Hyper Potion. That is unnecessary, but it's a nice thing to have. Hyper Potion restores 200 HP. Again, a bit unnecessary. And Route 37. If there's new Pokemon, Future Me will take care of it right now. There's only one new Pokemon you found this route, and that Pokemon is Stantler. Stantler is, um... It's, uh... Well, it's certainly a Pokemon that I keep forgetting exists every now and then. Stantler, honestly, its stat-wise isn't all that bad. It more or less plays a role of supporting, if anything. But it's it's just, why would you bother choosing it? Stantler's one of those weird Pokemon where you think it would be a normal and psychic type, but it's just a pure normal type, even though I can learn some pretty good psychic type moves here and there. Yeah, Stantler's just a really weird Pokemon, and I've never, ever seen it be used anywhere. Like... I've like trainers aside from in random NPC battles, but like in competitively or anything. No, I've never seen a Stantler used anywhere. I don't know if it's any good or not. It's certainly not worth the low catch rate. Intimidate's nice, but you can just get other Pokemon that have Intimidate, like Hitmon top, because it also has Intimidate. I mean, Frisk is also nice, but yes, Stantler's a 
it's a weird one. I, I have no idea what to say about this thing because it's just, it's just a weird Pokemon. I would not recommend getting it, honestly, if you're asking me, but if you want to, go ahead. Certainly better Pokemon to choose, but hey, you do you. All right, so I got a couple trainers. Uh, who are you? I am Sunny of Sunday, meaning it's Sunday today. I was told to give you this if I saw you. Magnet, holy crap, really? That thing, um, what was it now? I remember now. Pokemon knows Electrolyte moves should hold it. My sis Monica said it powers up Electrolyte moves. That is a fantastic item to have, holy crap. Yeah, Magnet boosts up uh, Electrolyte moves, similar to the Charcoal. I'm surprised I actually managed to find this guy, holy crap. I should probably mention this now. Um, Sunny is a part of seven siblings. Uh, they each appear in different locations depending on which day it is. Uh, for example, Sunny will appear here. Um, Monica, uh, for Monday, let's actually go into the map. Uh, nope. Yeah, I don't care. Um, okay, map, and let's swap over. Nope, there we go. Alright, so, Sunny will appear on Route 37, um, and he'll give you a magnet. Um, if you're on Monday, on Route 40, which is, I believe, where is Route 40? That's 42. Uh, it's 46. Where's just Route 40? Is this? Oh, Route 40. So, there. Uh, Monday for Monica, uh, she'll give you a sharp beak, which is very nice. Um, Tuscany. What the f Tuscany? Tuscany. Oh, you have by this by this time you have to defeat Faulkner, and she will be on Route 29, which I believe is just right here. Yeah, she'll give you on that route a Twisted Spoon, which boosts up Psychic type moves, which is really helpful there. Um, Wesley, way over here in the Lake of Rage, which we haven't gone to yet. Um, on Wednesday, he'll give you a Black Belt, which boosts uh, Fighting type moves. Arthur on Route 36, which is the route we were just on. Um, doing Thursday, he'll give you a hard stone, which boosts up rock type moves. Uh, Frida on Friday on Route 32 uh, will give you a poison barb, which we already have, but it's still nice anyway. Uh, that'll boost up poison type moves. And Santos, way over here in Blackthorn City on Saturday, will give you a soft sand, uh, a spell tag if you're playing Gold Silver Crystal, the original games. Uh, spell tag boosts up ghost type moves, while soft sand boosts uh, ground type moves. So, really, the only thing that's actually helpful for me was the Magnet. And surprisingly, I, I completely forgot about these guys, by the way. Um, I forgot to swap over again. There we go. So, yeah. Depending on which day. I don't know if... I'm not too sure what happens when you actually find them all. I don't think there's any reward for finding them all. Okay. Okay. It's, it is noted that you have to beat Faulkner for it to uh, for them to start appearing. Uh, our Pokemon are injured at the moment. And we're going to be fighting two trainers, which are kind of annoying. So we're going to swap out two Stagnox and Wayne. And we're just going to go ahead and run through the grass. Hopefully not, wow, encounter anybody. That's impressive. All right, these two. Pretty sure these two are double battles until they'll encounter us at the same time. We'll show in this this fight just for the hell of it, because I think Stagnox is going to make quick work for them, because I do believe they both have a Clefairy. It's either Clefairy or Jigglypuff. I can't remember exactly which one, but I'm pretty sure they're Clefable and Wigglytuff. Okay, well, I was kind of right in being... Okay, that's going to be a lot of experience for both of us. All right, uh, let's go for a bite on Wigglytuff and a Brick Break on Clefable. Stagnox should probably, hopefully, make quick work of these guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> This, this is the benefit of having a Heracross. Mainly because of the advantage that you have. Because, they're pound, really. All right. Oh, you also have a Wigglytuff. That's not as good. Okay. Wait, does Wigglytuff share the same cry as Polyraph? Because that sounds very familiar. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, Heracross is definitely a good Pokemon to have super early on. Being a level 19 Brick Break, or 18, or rather, whichever level it was that we got it. Um, there aren't super great fighting type Pokemon early on. The best you're going, the best you're going to get is probably a Machop, which, you know, isn't terrible. It's just not as good as it should be. That's not the right button. Uh, let's go for another... Actually, let's go for a Wing Attack on Wigglytuff, and we'll just Brick Break uh, the Fable. 
Because this fight with a fine type proper, it's not all that much of a challenge. By now, I think a Machop should probably be a Machoke now. I'm not too sure on that, though. There's the level up. I'm expecting somebody to get one in this battle. Too much damage that does to Wigglytuff. Eh, decent enough. And there's the Sing, and Stagnox is asleep. You know, for being like a 50 or 60 base accuracy move, it sure happens quite a lot to me and not to when I'm trying to fight somebody. That's great. Oh, uh, fun fact. Um, <laughs> Guts uh, is still activated uh, for sleep. You might be wondering, well, how the hell do we do that? Well, there's actually a couple moves that can... Well, that's kind of a waste. There's a couple moves that can allow you to attack during sleep. Uh, there's Sleep Talk, which uses one of your three other moves uh, while you're asleep. And there's also Snore, which is a special base power move that... Um, it's a special move that you can only use while you're asleep. So, it's... Yeah, they're pretty handy in that in those regards. Just run past and... Nope. Alright. We're done with that and all that stuff. And we've made it to Ecritic City. We're gonna be... Oh, yeah, this guy, finally. I was expecting one to get run into him. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Ethan, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon. But it couldn't have been done just by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lynette from Hoenn, made this Pokemon s storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back on the Goldenrod to see my folks. Bye-bye. You can actually go back to see him at Goldenrod. Which actually might be a bit helpful for us, because we can actually go over some new Pokemon there. Um, is there anybody in here that gives me something? Probably not. What about you, being all suspicious? Yeah, no, okay. Uh, i probably heal up, just to be absolutely certain, because... Yeah. Ecritique. I How the hell do you spell Ecritique? I don't know how to spell Ecritique City, so I'm not going to be able to find what items we can find here. Because, God forbid, they spell things properly. How is it spelt? Ah, C-R. Okay. Well, I do know that we can find a uh, certain item here that's actually going to be really helpful for us. Um, as for who exactly gives it, um, I think it's the guy in here, actually. So everyone was young. This guy suddenly turned black and a giant flying type Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what the Pokemon was. It's like a bird and a dragon. Really, Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. All right, not the exact house I was looking for. Uh, where is it? Ace Trainer House East of the gym. House of East. Uh, I think the gym is. Where is the gym actually? No wait, no, the gym's way over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. It should be this should be the house. This guy. Ah, right, you're on adventure with Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure about treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? You are right, sir. Understand the true spirit of nature. I like that. Take this with you. Go ahead and grab the dowsing machine. There are many items lying about that aren't obvious. Touch the dowsing machine for a while to see if it makes a high-pitched noise. When it does, you know there's an item near you. Walking as you use it may take it may make it easy to find items. Oh yeah, I heard there are items in Ecritique Burns Tower. Ooh, that's gonna be helpful to go. Alright, so yeah, the dowsing machine uh, works a bit differently. I don't think we we really used it uh, much in oh, damn it, in uh, Leaf Green. So we might be able to use it a bit more than usual. Go ahead and register that, because we are going to be using it quite often. So, the way it works, it replaces your bomb screen with this little, uh, dowsing machine. And what you do, I'm going to turn on the running shoes. If it's got some noise going... Basically, you hover around, and if the brighter the color is, the more, uh, close you are to the item. And once you're right in front of the item, you can go ahead and grab it. Now, if it's getting a bit... If it's more high-pitched than usual, that means there's still an item in the general vicinity. And if you just start to run around while waving the thing around, you will be able to find items quite uh, fast enough, being the rare candy right there. All right. So you're running around the area and just waving the... Waving it around will certainly be helpful. In fact, I think we're going to be... Oh, hello. Right around here. Ultra Ball. That's pretty handy, actually. Nice. Yep, oh, and there's one last one, which I think is... Nope, nope, no, 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 no. We're not going in here yet. Nope, 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 nope. That's a spoiler. <laughs> Every time you re-enter a, a building, you do have to reactivate, so it's a bit annoying. So this, that's not the right button. An ether, that's nice. 
store some PP, which is very nice. And I think that's all the stuff that is in this general city right here. So, um, we're not going to be going really... I'm probably going to have to do all that stuff off screen, if anything. Uh, but for the time being, I think there's one more little battle we can do uh, by heading into here. The Ecritic Dance Theater. Let's see what this is about. Hey, hey! Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push, push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well then, I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. <laughs> Is that... Are you, are you done? <laughs> She's gonna spin around? Alright, let's take care of you. Team Rocket being hooligans and whatnot. Again, not really being super f threatening, if anything. Just being an idiot in the dance theater. With a level 12 Pokemon, so that's great. Hopefully this is going to be enough experience to get Wayne level up to 20 at least. And there's the flinch, and you are down, sir. And it's 292, and that's up to 20. Very nice. Two more levels up, level up, and Wayne can get to his evolution. Which will be very helpful. Oh no, you made me look like a villain. Oops, I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over with the lowest Team Rocket grunt. Better leave now. I mean, you are pretty low on the importance meter. It must be Ethan, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does not know what to look for in people. Oh, that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Once we actually defeat the hooligan, this old gentleman will come up to us. Wonderful! You were so courageous for your age. I was a rare sight to see. I want to have you this. Then we shall take it. He gives us HMO3, which is Surf. <laughs> That's Surf. It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water with ease. It's also a really good move to have this early on, being just after our third gym battle. Surf, yes, uh, we can use it to cross water. However, we can I don't think we can use it just yet. It's got 95 power. Far, far superior than the water gun that we have on Yamoja, which I believe is just 60. 40. That's a 55 power boost. And that is going to be our moveset for Yamoja for practically the rest of the game because she doesn't learn a better psychic type move until much, much later in the game. As for Yamoja, we're actually going to put her into the front because she's also going to be a bit helpful in the upcoming gym battle. Uh, does anybody else give me here? Give me something here? Uh... Yeah, good for you, buddy. What do you want, Beverly? No, no, oh no, that wasn't the right button. Oh no, we missed the, the call. Oh no. Um, is there anything else for us to grab here? No, I think there is pretty much gotten everything that we can here. Uh, not any new Pokemon you find through fishing or headbutting the trees, so. Alright, um, don't know how long this episode has been going on, but I don't really all that care all that much because, yeah. Might as well just, you know, end it here, just be on the safe side. So yeah, we got pretty much quite a lot of battles done, if anything. Um, made it to Ecritic City, found ourselves a dowsing machine, which is pretty handy. Um, in the next episode, we are going to be heading... We're actually going to be backtracking to Golden Rod just for a little bit, and then we'll be heading back into Ecritic and exploring the area a little bit. So, see you guys next time.